long time no see. I'm back and I wanted to talk with you about my favorite juicer today. Um, I have tried several juicers. I've been juicing for about three weeks and I can give you a review of the other few juicers that I've tried along with this juicer which is going to be the main object of my review here. This is the Breville Juice Fountain Crush. Um, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It runs for about $299 and it's about 240 watts. It's pretty powerful and it's a slow juicer, so it's not the type that just grinds up your food and throws the pulp away and leaves a ton of the juice in it. It actually kind of presses it, crushes it really slowly. It have, maintains optimum uh, nutrient retention and, was that redundant? <laughs> it retains the nutrients better than a lot of the other juicers you, and you get a lot more juice out of things like spinach, kale, and greens that are typically hard to juice in other juicers like for instance the Jack LaLanne or um, the South Beach juicer that I actually tried from Walmart for like, it was like $29.99 I think. So anyway, some of the perks of this juicer that I really like are um, the setup here. So it's super easy to put together. I don't know if you can see it, but each part here has an orange dot and it you just line up all the orange dots on the thing and you have it aligned perfectly. So it makes it really easy to put together. So it's super easy setup. Here's the little pulp ejector here and then here's where the juice itself comes out. So they, they come with these two little um, juice canisters and thing that actually I thought was really cool too about this was that it, it has like a big handle in it so it's easy to carry. The only thing I don't like about this juicer truly is how heavy it is. I think it's like 15, it's seriously like 15 pounds so it's like it's, it's pretty darn heavy. That's really the only con that I found with these though. As with most juicers the cleanup is such a pain in the butt. Um, it takes, you know, 20 minutes and you have to soak it in the little basket itself, the little mesh wire basket kind of thing is usually super hard to clean out. But with this one, I found that that is not the case. And I'll show you what this one looks like. So you disassemble the top. So here's the loader, here's the um, produce pusher. So you just disassemble the top and it comes off nice and easy, just like that. Two little pieces there. And then inside you have the masticator, masticator I think is what they call it. It's kind of like the thing that chews the stuff up. So you can pull this out and this spins inside of the little basket here. So here's the basket, the mesh basket. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, where the thing, this goes, uh, the masticator goes inside and it just spins ever so slowly and presses all of the juice out of the produce that you've put in there. And then it strains it through this basket. And then um, it runs through here and out this nozzle in the front. And it's a really smooth system. The cleanup is super, super easy. Um, and it comes with this little brush and this, this end to the brush, the end here, kind of fits in all the little nooks and crannies and the brush here works really good on the mesh um, basket on the inside. So that makes the cleanup super easy. I'd say this whole thing takes me about five minutes to clean up, whereas some of the old juicers like the Jack LaLanne juicer, which is a great juicer, but I just, I find that this one works better for me um, because it's super fast cleanup. So basically you pull this little rubber stopper out of the bottom and you can fit this in and you can you know clean it out with this you can brush all around it's super easy to clean up and it's dishwasher safe so if you don't have time or if you're not planning to use your juicer for the next meal or anytime soon you can just toss it in the dishwasher so um pros for this juicer easy assembly so you just stick this basket on you line up the orange with the orange super duper easy We'll go ahead and stick this little guy in here. Make sure that's tight. And then the little loader unit goes on top. And you lock it in. It's on the lock and you're set to go. So you just plug this in and you stick your veggies in the top. Your pulp comes out the side 
and then your juice comes out the front. And the cool thing about this is it has a reverse function. So let me show you. So there's a switch here where you can reverse it. So if you feel like you're getting, something's kind of getting stuck in there, which doesn't happen very often, but if you feel like you want to reverse the direction and try and get more juice out of something that you've put in there, you can actually reverse the direction with this toggle switch here, which is really cool. I've never seen a juicer that had that before. And um, another thing is, is it grinds up carrots and it grinds up beets and really hard vegetables, like any root vegetable that you would put in there. It grinds them up really, really well. As um, some of the juicers I've seen before, short out if you stick something like that in there. So um, again, it does spinach, it does kale, it does juicy fruits like citrus and um, you know, I've never, I don't think you should juice bananas, there's not like juice in bananas, but um, you know, I've put things in there like mangoes and it actually really juices those pretty well too. So even the soft stuff, the, the greens, I'd say if I had to give this juicer a rating on a like a zero to ten stars, um, I would say I would give it a nine because it works really, really well. Super easy assembly. Um, using it is easy. Cleanup's easy, and you get a ton of juice from it. So um, every night when I make salads for my husband and I, I will sometimes use this to juice like the citrus fruits that I put in there, and. Um, also, I'll make us juices on the weekends, you know, for like a cleanse or just for a snack. So I would say this Breville Juice Fountain Crush is awesome. Again, you can get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I think I've seen them at um, Kitchen Caboodle as well, and I'm sure you can find them online at the Breville website. So this juicer is 240 watts. It has a one-year product warranty and a 10-year motor warranty. Which is really crazy considering that this is just like a kitchen um, product. You know, typically there's not a 10 year warranty on things like this, but the motor in here has a 10 year warranty. So if the motor were to die, Breville would replace that for you for 10 years. So that's awesome. And then any of the other parts are on a one year warranty. Um, so anyway, the Breville Juice Fountain Crush is a totally awesome juicer. I like it better than the Jacqueline or the South Beach juicer that I found because it grinds up your greens and it extracts a lot more juice. The cleanup is a little bit, quite a bit easier. Who am I kidding here? It's way easier with this juicer. And it's a slow press juicer, so it retains a lot of the nutrients and the juice from the produce that you're sticking in it. And um, after I'm done juicing, I usually fill up my little jar here. Um, this is a 24 ounce jar you can get at, I got this one at Kitchen Caboodle, but you can get these pretty much anywhere, even like Walmart, Fred Meyer, and then I like to drink out of a little glass straw because it's just kind of fun. And uh, there you go. So that's what I think of this juicer. If you guys have any questions or comments on juicers or other products, I'd like to do some other reviews of some of my other kitchen products. Um, but if you have any questions about um, the juicer, juice recipes, I plan to put up some recipe videos pretty soon. I'd like to do a few more how to's and recipe videos so give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope that your healthy lifestyles are going well. I have been still maintaining my less than 30 grams a day and I'm getting to the point where it's been about two months now I'm going to start going to maybe 15 grams a day so kind of cutting that in half and seeing how I do. Anyway, I hope that you keep following along. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next week for another video. Take care. Bye.